Child work, bitches got them on the gram. People fail, stuck in my pictures. Damn. Christmas time gone high. Hello vlog! Welcome back to another Vlogmas video! Period. It's the vocals for me. No. Hello, it's not even morning anymore. It's the afternoon. It's the early afternoon. Um, I've been up since like 9 o'clock editing yesterday's Vlogmas video. It's going up on YouTube right now. It just finished processing. So literally like a couple of minutes and it's going to be live. Still in my pajamas. Got my scarf on, but I'm about to make myself breakfast. I haven't eaten yet. I've just been drinking water. I'm feeling very skinny, okay? I'm like <laughs> Very like... You know, like, there's no food in my belly. Like, there's no food in my stomach. So, we gotta go make myself some breakfast. Like, I deserve that, you know? I think I'm gonna do French toast and bacon and an omelet because that's what I have. And that's what I'm feeling like. I want a big breakfast. I'm feeling like a big breakfast. So, let's make breakfast together, shall we? Shall we? Got my turkey bacon and I got some shredded cheddar cheese and my eggs. And then for the French toast, oh, I forgot I had Hawaiian buns too. I'm gonna do the remaining of this loaf. I have this cinnamon raisin swirl bread. Let me put this aside. And here, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna crack, how many eggs do I wanna use? It's only four slices. I think one egg will be enough. So I'm gonna do one egg. Not the shell. Oh no! That was a bad crack. Uh-uh, y'all not finna play me like that. Okay, yeah, one egg in here. I'm gonna do a splash of half and half. That was like probably a tablespoon. I think I could do a little bit more actually. I do brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and vanilla extract in my French toast concoction. Um, it just tastes mad good, you know. I think French toast was one of the first things I learned to make because my mom would make it. She'd like, only make it on Sundays too. It was like her thing. Not every Sunday, but like I knew she woke up and she was in a good ass mood. She'd be like, do you want French toast? <laughs> and I'd be like, oh my God, yes. And she would make it. And then I was like, I should learn how to make French toast. And I'd just be like eyeballing it. Cause you know, it's not like raw or anything. That was kind of a lot, but who cares? And the nutmeg, just a little bit. Gonna turn on my stove top and put some oil in the pan. Some oil in the pan. I'm gonna be used, trying to use a lot of oil. I'm going to whisk all my ingredients together like so, like that. Precisely. Splendid, wonderful. A little bit more. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more half and half. 
Yes. Um, and then I'm gonna take my bread. And my pan is heated up. And you just wanna, you know how it go. You know what bread is also really good for French toast? This same brand, the Pepperidge Farm. No, this is not Pepperidge Farm. Thomas, but they have like um, they have like a thick cut like strawberry. They have like a thick cut blueberry. Oh my gosh, those are so good with French, like to make French toast with. Put this in my pan, like so, like that. You want to make sure you coat both sides. Emotions. I don't know if this is gonna be enough, child. I don't know, man. Yeah. So that's what the French toast looks like. It looks so yummy. I'm gonna keep my fire, well it's not my fire, but my electric stove on like medium. And you just wanna basically like just brown both sides. So you're cooking the egg and the milk or whatever, but you're not like, don't have it on there for too long. I'm gonna wash this bowl out so I can use it to whisk some clean eggs. Um, I'm gonna do Dang! <laughs> I know y'all saw that but it was like a big piece. And then I used to put like a bunch of stuff in my eggs, but I don't know, like I've just been keeping things real simple as of lately. So just some black pepper and some sea salt. that to the side and it smells so good oh it smells so freaking good yeah the edges are sorting to brown so i'm gonna flip these over yes sir look at that they're beautiful I really love this little $16 pan from Marshalls. Such a great buy. Flip it, it, flip it, it, flip it, it. I'm gonna push these to the side because I don't want them to burn. And because I'm clean of using one pan for everything, I'm gonna lay my bacon in there. I know, this is kind of ghetto, but girl, this French toast is about to be done in like 30 seconds and then I'll have an empty pan. Okay, yeah, so take these out and just lay them on my plate. <laughs> That's so much French toast. And then I'm gonna put some more bacon in here. I'll put you in an Uber the very next day. And just when you thought I was done, baby, I'm about to go in with some more. Now I'm just gonna put some fruit on this um, French toast cause it looks so delectable and just so delicious. Probably not going to eat. I'm not gonna eat all four slices actually. I'm only gonna eat two, but um, yeah, it's just for the presentation. You feel me? Do you feel me? Some raspberries on date. And then, and then, I got a uh, part of a banana <laughs> that I used yesterday. I'm gonna just do some banana slices. Just to top it all off, this right here. 
just like that and i don't um have syrup because i don't really use syrup i feel like it has a lot of sugar in it so i just use honey mm. wow everything looks so good um my breakfast though is insane like ah, i'm about to say it it is up Breakfast is my, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but breakfast is literally my most favorite coveted meal of the day. I've said this to you guys on so many different occasions, but I literally, like, I love breakfast food. So, any chance I get, I'm ready to throw down a breakfast meal, like French toast, waffles, omelets, just anything breakfast, oatmeal, like, literally anything. I got this really yummy looking eggnog but it's almond milk eggnog it's dairy free from Target. when i went to go pick up that actually i saw this and i was like um this is something i need to try so i'm gonna have some today with my breakfast i actually i need to move this out of the way and make sure i mix it up Ooh, she thick or whatever. She thick or whatever. <laughs> Let's try this um eggnog. Mmm. Okay, that's good. It's definitely giving egg. <gasps> Ooh, there's a little like cinnamon aftertaste when it like goes down your throat. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh i like this i always liked the eggnog like as a kid that was like eggnog was that bitch for me like i just liked it so i like that i have an almond milk option a dairy free option <laughs> so i'm about to eat my breakfast i mean i'm only doing two <laughs> i'm about to eat my breakfast drink my eggnog ah! period you guys, it's literally me not doing anything today, Burmy. I watched Hamilton earlier um, on Disney Plus. I got Disney Plus. So now I have freaking Netflix. I'm paying for Netflix. I'm paying for Hulu. No, wait, the Hulu is my sister's account. But still, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and freaking Disney Plus. Like, all them damn subscriptions. They need to just put them all in one thing. Let me pay for one thing. Because it's like... It's fifteen dollars here, ten dollars here, eight dollars here, six dollars here. Like, that's too much. It's, it's it's too much at this point. Literally been on my phone, been on the computer, emailing all day. Really didn't do much today at all. Took a shower, so I'm in fresh PJs, and I'm eating this coconut cake that I bought from Rouse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what? Mm -hmm. I'm watching TikToks and I'm like literally cracking up like TikTok is really funny I was literally just cracking up like I was dying and I was like yo it's madly and I'm like in here cackling on the couch by myself like but yeah I haven't done anything <laughs> it's Friday night I'm in quarantine ooh let's do a foot update cause my feet let's do a foot update my camera definitely died and i had to there's a hair stuck on my face i had to wait for it to charge but let's do a foot check let's do a feet check my feet <laughs> my feet though y'all about to see my toes and be like be like what <laughs> yeah 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 they look mad delectable honestly and i would use that word specifically yeah my feet let me put them in the light my feet ah! yo they fully peeled and now they just look mad good like i exfoliated them in the shower for like the last two days to just really get all of the dead skin off and then today was like the last bit of it and then i just moisturized with nubian heritage indian hemp and haitian vetiver, vetiver infused shea butter it's really good 
I have the matching body lotion and the body scrub and it just smells so good like the three of them together so I'm actually about to put some more on my feet because I had my my little Santa slippers on I'm about to put some more on and then put the slippers back on <laughs> but my feet oh they're so smooth and soft there's no dead skin period it's the smooth ass feet for me <laughs> I haven't put the soap in my new dispenser. Nasty but classy. Birkin big me. Cash at me. Sneak dissing on the grand bitch at me. With my bad bitch is looking for an athlete. Fashion over pink and wearing no panties. Dope boy scam nigga. Where they at? I just seen a hundred box coming from the back. Uh, I don't work jobs, but chain champ. Pipe it down, but I whip you like your mama do. This pussy talk to him. Ain't me gonna give it up. Ain't me gonna bait, bait, then spin race to that lamb show. I work, bitches got him on the ground. People foul stuck in my pictures. Damn. I don't like a ticket, I ain't penny for a sucker slap. <laughs> Ooh! Just like I don't know if it's gonna stay like this this is done so this is what the cabinet looks like now so I'm just gonna slide this tray in all of these products are just like in there and like ooh, and getting knocked over and stuff so now now at least there's some kind of organization to ooh, to this this eco styler is completely empty i really love this cleanser the organizational freak in me is loving this right now <laughs> now i have this stuff that i bought yesterday that i need to figure out where i'm gonna put um does anybody else feel weird about just having their toothbrush exposed like low key Y'all know when you take a poop, right? The um the fecal matter be flying up in the air like little particles of it or whatever. That's why I don't like to have exposed brushes in the bathroom. Like no brushes are exposed, like makeup brushes or my toothbrush. Like I have it in the drawer, like put away. But that's my reasoning. <laughs> I don't know if y'all knew that, but if you didn't, sis. There you go. You can feel how you want to feel about that. You know, some people will be like, yeah, I don't care. And other people are going to be like, oh, shoot, really? Dang. Sometimes this little tooth gem be like blinging in the light and it looks like I have a silver tooth. Like I was one of those like silver tooth kids. The ones that be stressing their mothers out. <laughs> Them badass little kids. Like, I look like. I look like. I wear black Air Forces now as an adult. <laughs> Yo, this is kind of zoomed in. There we go. Um. Oh, yeah. So what? I said I had to do this. Oh, my gosh. Look at under my sink. Don't judge me, y'all. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. This is what under my sink looks like. Um. There's this cabinet and then there's this side cabinet as like all my hair tools. Like there's like mad different hair tools in there that are just thrown i bought these bins i showed you guys yesterday i'm gonna sit on the floor yeah i bought these bins to put all of this stuff in so that it can be neater you guys when i tell you like i'm an organizational freak like you can ask pretty much anyone that's been to my place <laughs> I have like a place for everything. I have a spot for everything and I'm constantly like putting things back 
like where they belong i'm not really one to like have a messy area like it may be messy for like a couple of hours but then i'll take care of it like i never like just have mess like around and i just love organizing like i like organizing stuff i have ocd so i like seeing things organized and clean like that always like i don't know what it is but there were like jobs that i had in the past and pretty much every job that i've had and I always like offered to like organize like someone's office, their desk, their drawers, like like their storage spaces, like the closet, like literally anything. Like I just want to organize. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. So like I really get a kick out of it. That and cleaning, but like cleaning, I do have to be in the mood. But it's not hard for me to get in the mood of cleaning and then once i'm in the mood i just want to clean everything so like yeah i'm a clean i'm a clean freak and i'm a control freak <laughs> high key like high key like not even low key high key so Ooh. So I got my bleach in the back. This bin has laundry stuff in it and an extra shower curtain. I always get like an extra one when I buy one. And then this bin just has like random bath stuff. And then back here in this bucket is my cleaning supplies. That's gonna be under my sink. Um, oh, honey chow, girl. There's just there's just a lot going on in this one. <laughs> oh, I have makeup brushes back there. See, I just be having every. I'm gonna leave the brushes that I have back there. And oh, it's the perfect size. Wow. Imagine if it didn't fit, I would be sad. I need another one for this side. I should have got four. Damn it. But they didn't have. But yeah, in this one, I'm going to do all of my. Oh, shoot. Not it not being long enough. This is too big. It's too long. I'm gonna just do that one last. Um, this is my hair dryer. I have two hair dryers. I don't know how that happened. My curling wands. Those fit kind of. My flat iron. Oh, I have two diffuser attachments. I don't really need this diffuser attachment though, because my hair dryer comes with one. And my crimper that I love so much. Yeah, that's gonna be oh this extra hair dryer. I really don't know where this came from. And then cut off this tag. Oh, oh. okay. And that's that. I feel so much better. <laughs> With it being so organized under here. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love this. It was so hectic the way it was just like empty cabinet and I was just throwing stuff in there. Like, no. <laughs> oh, now I need something to organize the top where my hair stuff is. All my hair products. There's so many hair products. Oh. It's my posh. Wash these. You guys, so I was just on Instagram 
I was just on Instagram and I was like just scrolling and it was a sponsored ad. It was a Facebook ad for this really cute rug. So then I went and I clicked on it, like I swiped up or whatever. And now I'm like looking at rugs. I think I wanna buy this rug, but the only thing is it's white. It's an off-white, but it's gonna, it would look so nice. It would look so nice, but I'm like, do I really trust myself? Like, I'm a grown woman, like, I should be able to have a light colored rug and not spill anything on it, right? Like, that should be something that I could do. <laughs> Why am I fearful that I'm gonna spill? And it's not even me, like, what if someone else spills something on it? And then I'm like, really sad. But it's just like, I have to just be like, okay. But like, sad, you know? <laughs> I feel like now's the time to have a light colored rug and to have light colored furniture because I don't have any children. I don't plan on having children for like, you know, a couple of years. So it's like, I know like when I do, that's going to be damn near impossible. Like I'm not going to really be able to do that. So it's like, I should do it now, right? Like I should have light colored. There was like so many light colored furniture pieces that I originally wanted and I talked myself out of because I was like, why? So you can spill something on it or like mark it up or something <laughs> and then it not be perfect and then you be sad because it's not perfect anymore. Ugh. Ugh. But, and it's on sale and it's, it, oh, it would look so good in here. <laughs> I'm just like picturing it. Like, yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to measure this out right now. High key, I will buy this shit right now. Right now. <laughs> I will buy it right now. Um, how many dimensions was it? No, where'd it go? <gasps> no! Uh-uh, I remember the website. See, it was like Rugs R Us. Dang! And I didn't even screenshot it. Ah! No, I really just lost the, I lost it because it was a swipe up story. And then I went back to the story on Instagram and it was like gone. Let's see if I come across it again. Was it rugs.com? No. Wow, I'm so, mm. It was a freaking swipe up story ad. I swiped up on it, I was looking at the rugs, and then like I swiped out of the the app, but like still left the page open to go back to it. When I went back to it, it was like the story was gone. So the ad was gone. So the website like was gone. Oh my God. <laughs> that was such a pretty rug. <laughs> ah! What if I could never find it? Oh my gosh, what if I can never find it? No, now I just need to keep going through people's stories and see if the ad comes up. Oh, I'm so hurt. I'm so very hurt right now. That was such a pretty pop. Ah! Ah! Why? Why do they play me like that? Instagram want to be all over my business all the other time, saving all my information and shit like that. And then when I need you to, you're not, I can't, like. Well, I guess that was God. God was like, you don't need to spend any money on a rug right now. Let me take that out your hands for you. I watched Hamilton, the Broadway, the New York Broadway play today on Disney Plus. And I was living for it. It was actually, like, I, I didn't really know what to expect. Um. It was phenomenal, like splendid, wonderful. I was like, I really wish I would have experienced that in person though. I felt like you just don't get the same effect. Like it was still very moving, but I would have liked to have seen that in person. I don't know when the next time we're gonna do that because of COVID. Um, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if there's really much more to do for this vlogger video. <laughs> Cause your girl's getting tired, okay? I washed the dishes, I cleaned my kitchen. I didn't show you guys that. Maybe next time I should record me cleaning my kitchen. But tomorrow's gonna be more fun. Tomorrow's Saturday. 
I'm excited about tomorrow. It's me looking a hot mess for me. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Anyway, today's vlogmas video was super chill, I know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it though. Like, hopefully you just like seeing my face and you just enjoy checking in with me every single day, even if I'm not doing much. Um, if you do, then give this video a big thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash the like button down below. I'll give you a minute to do that. And I'll also give you a minute to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications i've been uploading every single day for vlogmas because i'm consistent okay period i'm the consistent queen okay so yeah make sure your post notifications are turned on i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see my next upload which is gonna be tomorrow see you tomorrow <laughs> good night